welcome back to Fluttering Butterflies. My name is Michelle and I'm here today to do a very quick video introducing a YA short readathon that I'm hosting on my blog, Fluttering Butterflies. I will leave lots of links down below uh, for more information about what YA Shot is, how to sign up for the readathon, and more. Very, very quickly, YA Shot is this really amazing literary festival uh, that's happening on one single day on the 28th of October in Uxbridge. YA Shot is being organized by the lovely Alexia Casali. You might remember I interviewed her at Yelk and she talked a bit about why she's organizing YA Shot and why it's so important. It's uh, definitely a festival aimed at celebrating libraries and literacy in Oxbridge and Hillingdon and it's going to provide a year-long program of author visits. The authors that are coming to YA Shot and the program has already been released and it is an amazing, amazing lineup. Alexia has already organized a blog vlog tour, sort of uh, raising the awareness of the authors in this event, uh, but to go along with it, I'm also organizing a readathon. I really want uh, people to pick up these authors' books and read and talk about them in some way before the actual event on the 28th of October. Please do sign up for the YA Shot Readathon. You don't have to be attending the, the actual event to take part. Uh, just read a book, talk about it in some way, and definitely link up all of the relevant things uh, to the actual sign-up sheet and there'll be a review link up uh, on the 28th on my blog. I'm going to be at YA Shot. I'm going to bring a whole suitcase full of books that I'd like to get signed by the amazing authors who will be attending. And I'm bringing extras along. I have quite a few duplicate copies of books or books that I've managed to uh, to pick up that are extra and I want to sign them and give them away to different participants during the readathon. Okay, so get involved even if you're not going, even if you live somewhere entirely different. I, um, all of these books are owned by me, so I will be sending them anywhere in the world. Don't let geography stand in your way of joining in this great readathon. I will be leaving links down below. One of them is to the author page, letting you know which authors will be at the event, and another link will be to a Goodreads a list that has been created of all of the books by the authors attending the event. Because I have so many books that I would like to read before the actual event, I've already made a start on my readathon reading, but I wanted to share with you very quickly some of the other books that I'm hoping to read during the month before YA Shot. First up, the new book by Tanya Byrne. This is called For Holly. It's set in Paris. I don't know very much about it, but Tanya Byrne is definitely one of my favorite authors. So this is at the top of my pile. I also have All About Pumpkin by Natasha Ferrant. This is the third book in the Bluebell Gadsby series. I absolutely adore, adore, adore the Gadsby the Gadsby family, and I cannot wait to read more of their adventures. And isn't this book, the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. I'll also be reading The Snow Sister by Emma Carroll. This is a Christmas novella from a, a, a middle grade author that I absolutely adore and I cannot wait to get to this one. I'll also be reading The Novice. Um, I already have a copy of, uh, I already have a signed copy, um, but I still want to read this book before the actual event. This is the first book in a fantasy series and it just sounds really, really good. Um, I've already started reading The Secret Fire by CJ Doherty and Karina Rosenfeld. It's a sort of paranormal story about a girl, um, about an English girl and a French boy and the, um, the fact that the, the French boy knows he's going to die on his 18th birthday and until then he is basically immortal and it sounds amazing. I also have a new book by CJ Skoos, Monster. This is set in a boarding school and it's supposed to be kind of spooky and I just love CJ Skoos anyway so that one's going to be very exciting to read. I have The Almost King by Lucy Saxon. This is the 
sequel to uh, Take Back the Skies and it's set in the same world but I believe it follows different characters and I've really loved this world so I can't wait to get back into it. So I have Seed by Lisa Heathfield, this is the proof copy, um, the actual cover is amazing but that's black and white so you can't really see the, the colours and things. Uh, this is set in a cult. I've just heard the most amazing things about it so um, I'm a bit ashamed that I haven't yet read this one. I also have Too Close to Home by Aoife Walsh. This is um, a family story, I believe, and um, the, the family involved is, is a little bit crowded and chaotic, and I love those sort of stories. I also have Banished by Liz de Jaeger. It's an urban fantasy story. It's the first in a trilogy, and why haven't I read it yet? It's why? What's wrong with me? Finally, the last two physical copies of books that I'd like to read is Tall Tales from Pitch End and The Black North. These are both by Nigel McDowell and I don't know anything about them. The Black North, the ring on the back says it's made up of dark magic, family, creatures in invasion. How cool does that sound? And on the back of this book it says M. Night Shyamalan's The Village meets Philip Reeve's Mortal Engines. I'm sold! Sold right there! For the books that I'm hoping to read for the YA Shop Readathon, will you be taking part in this event with me? Do let me know! It's gonna be so much fun! Are you gonna be at YA Shot? Tickets, I believe, are still still available. Uh, get in there, get in there quick. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time.